let's go to the options. So first of all, in display, uh, you have your resolution. I'm using the custom one with my native resolution on my Mac. Honestly, don't be too greedy with resolution in this game. Uh, it takes a lot of resources. So I'm using this resolution. You can also use, I guess, 1080p depending on what is your setup. If you have a dedicated monitor right now, I'm playing directly on my Mac. Also want to mention, normally I, I'm getting 6 to 7 FPS more average, uh, but, but because right now I'm recording with OBS, it takes uh, more resources on the computer. After that, I really recommend to use the upscaler type. So use the Metal FX, the one for Mac, and use the performance one. You can get like 8 to 10% boost in your FPS. So this one is pretty huge. After that, sharpen strength. Uh, I recommend to go, uh, but it really depends on uh, if your game is too blurry, just go higher. If it looks too much like an in Instagram filter, go lower. Me, I like to play at 0.5 and make sure that you deactivate motion blur. Uh, the game looks very blurry with it. So not a huge, uh, not a fan of this effect. Ray trace global illumination, go with uh, diffuse eye out only. And after that, we're gonna use an overall preset with custom because we have to put a lot of parameter at low. So first of all, ray tracing quality go with low BVH also. Those ones are thinking too much your FPS. Screen space effect, light source quality and shadow quality low. You can expect a nice like eight to 10% boost over there to, to use those one at low, uh, especially for shadow. It's thinking your FPS like crazy. Texture or streaming pool, honestly, you can go with very high if you have the VRAM available. I did a couple of tests because I was not sure about the, uh, you know, the RAM is uh, incorporated uh, directly on the chipset. It's not like a, a PC that we have like a proper uh, VRAM on your GPU, proper RAM for your CPU and stuff like that. So, uh, but I didn't see any effect in, on my FPS. So if you have uh, the space, go for it. After that, post effect, I recommend to go with low, water quality low, and particle quality, this one really important also at low. Just at medium, I was losing like 4 FPS, so uh, don't go too crazy with this one. Make sure those ones are at low. Low distance, you can uh, use medium easily. Not a huge difference between low and medium on your uh, performance. Drawing distance, I recommend to go with low. And micro uh, polygon, I again, look at your VRAM. If you have the space, go with I. Terrain quality, you can run easily high. Not a huge difference between low, medium, and high. It's like 1% difference between like high versus low. So I recommend to go with high. Good, uh, it's, uh, it's a good trade, honestly. Deformation, go with low. Scatter density, low. Virtual texture, again, look at your VRAM. If you have the space, go with high. After that, character quality, you can run easily medium. Not a huge difference in your FPS, low versus medium. And air strain, definitely deactivated. I was losing 10 FPS with it. Uh, so it's, it's it's huge because I'm running the game averagely at like 10, uh, 30 FPS. So definitely deactivated. And those two one are really important for quality, stinking your resources like crazy. So low with this one and low for uh, cloud quality. So... This is pretty much it. Let's go to resume. So right now I'm playing on my laptop directly, no monitor, and I'm recording. So normally I do like 28 to 30 FPS average. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's running well. You know, I'm playing on a laptop right now. I'm using the Xbox controller. So 27 FPS. So yeah, it's pretty decent, honestly. So this is pretty much it. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section, post me. Uh, first of all, what type of Mac that you're using, MacBook Pro, MacBook, whatever, Mac mini, the spec, also your question. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.